If you're looking to include variables in your streamer bot actions, let's do a quick rundown. In most sub actions, whenever asked for an input value, you can usually input a variable instead of a value itself. Variables have information stored in them, and you can include pretty much anything from numerical values to usernames. For example, if I get a raid, I can use percent %username% percent to use the username of the raider in my sub actions. The percent in front and behind tell StreamerBot that this is a variable and not to use the actual full string of letters, symbols, or numbers. But how do I know that's the variable name to use? Well, if you're ever trying to reference a value, you can pull up the StreamerBot documentation and there should be a section dedicated to which variables you can use for certain triggers. But if you're trying to figure out everything you have access to, you can right click and test your trigger and then go to your action history tab, right click and inspect variables after run. And you'll be able to see all of the variables that you have to work with, like in this case, the username of the raider or the number of viewers in the raid. Then you can use those variables, just like that username variable we used before, to customize the messages or add conditional logic for the response depending on the values. Just be sure to add the percent symbols before and after when using them. 